This is a 36 years old ma married male presenting with a history of persistent vomiting for the last three days. So let's uh, start with the ultrasound and let's see what we can find out by uh, ultrasound first and left lateral decubitus posture to see the kidneys and gallbladder together. This is the gallbladder, it's normal. This is the gallbladder, this is the portal vein. The liver is normal, the surface is smooth. This is the right diaphragm, no pyrolopian. I will see the normal caliber. So we rule out the it rules out the cardiac conditions. The uh, Pathology related to the liver or gallbladder. Uh, now here, here, it is, here is the pathology. Here is the pathology. And here is the This is the kidney. And if you know the normal, if you know the normal, then you can straight away come to the conclusion that the kidney is diseased. First of all, let us see that uh, how much it measures, what is the size of the kidney. It measures, you know. Make the fatty patient poor lipogenic 7.7 centimeters in length, 3.5 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter, and uh, this is the transverse section with the uh, in inner vein entering the hilum. This is the kidney in transfer section measuring again 7.6 and 3.9 so the dimensions are uh, with a normal image this is the long axis longitudinal view. This is the this is the right kidney and this is the transverse view of the kidney. This is the kidney. And here you can see that the vessels are entering into the kidney. At least we got the area of uh, involvement. Now, after seeing this, you know that the parenchymal echogenicity of the kidney is considered to be or should be less as compared to that of the liver, provided the liver is normal. And here you will see that uh, the liver is normal in echogenicity and texture, whereas the echogenicity of the kidney is markedly raised. Here you see, though a few pyramids are seen, but see the echogenicity of the cortex, highly raised as compared to that of the adjacent liver parenchyma. Uh, the parenchymal thickness is normal, measuring 14.4 Oh, sorry, 14.1 millimeters at the upper pole. This is the upper pole, and this is the mid region. 13.5 parenchymal thickness is normal. Echogenicity is highly raised, 
diffusely raised at all regions. Corticoid medullary dysfunction is muffled rather and there is uh, uh, no sign of any central sinus hypocomplex. You see, this, this is the area of central sinus hypocomplex and we do not see that. So these are grade 1 renal parenchymal changes. Here is a small cyst at the upper pole, this is a small cyst in at the upper pole of the right kidney and these are not unusual to see in uh, end stage kidneys or advanced stage liver uh, kidney disease. This is the kidney. All of white area you are seeing. It's amazing. So this is the study of the right kidney and uh, now let's see the status of the left kidney. This is the left kidney showing you almost the same changes as we saw in the right left kidney. Its size Sigma size is actually the patient had medication from a hospital and is restless and the reason uh, in this such cases you come across emergencies, restless patients, uh, rather he is not in full, uh, his conscious is also blurred because of the injections for vomiting he has been getting to the hospital. So see the dimension is uh, 9.1 centimeters into 4.0 centimeters, which is considered to be normal with the normal. And there is no hydronephrosis. You see that the primary genesis is highly raised compared to that of the adjacent. Uh, Okay, we compare this upper pole because in so fine posture it is becoming difficult to get the kidney in the middle of the pole. This is the cortex and this is the spleen. Now the echogenicity of the cortex is highly raised and in this the parenchymal thickness is normal. The muffled central sinus echo complex as well as loss of uh, medulla, uh, medullary pyramid. So a uh, corticomedullary differentiation is lost. I have no, and even in this, this is the upper pole, this is the lower pole, and you can see that the, there is blurredness of the uh, corticomedullary differentiation. Outer surface is low regular. And the cystic areas in the initially mentioned are not uncommon. It's not unusual to see this. This is the proximal ureters, which is not, not dilated. There is no calculus in the, in the kidney. There is no hydronephrosis. There is no focalian except these simple cortical cysts. These are called simple cortical cysts. And uh, this is the transverse of the kidney. This is the transverse. Oh, no. 
4.9 centimeters, which is with a normal. So the dimensions are with a normal. This is the transfer section of the uh, kidney. This is a small cyst, cortical cyst that was seen that you are seeing in the longitudinal section as well. This is a cyst. This is the left kidney in longitudinal section. This is the left kidney. Now you see that uh, in this kidney you cannot make out the anatomy of the normal kidney as the cortex epigenesis is globally raised. There is no muffling, rather absent. Uh, central sinus echo complex, no fat of uh, central sinus echo complex seen, and cortico medullary differentiation is definitely lost. So, this is end stage kidney. So, the cause of the vomiting in this patient is young patient, 36 years, with no history of alcoholism or oral any vocal history of uh, alcoholism or from drugs or any painkillers, patient denied, his attendance denied any of these uh, being habitual to drugs or is not diabetic, though he is overweight, he is bulky. This is the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder. And uh, this is the prostate in longitudinal section. This is the prostate, and this is the prostatic urethra. I cannot have this patient get micturated and then have a post micturation residual volume because the patient is in semi coma, dysconscious. This is because of the therapy more than the disease. There is another cyst. These cysts are cortical cysts. Not no significance. Upper pole, mid region, cortical medullary differentiation loss, central sinus echo complex loss, highly raised parenchymal epigenicity compared to that of the liver, normal liver. This is the normal liver. No plural equivalent on the right side. And uh, so there is a very small amount of fluid seen in the left space of significance. So this is the left frame, uh, this is the supreme, no fluid, no fluid, no ascites seen so far in this uh, young, not quite, Thank you.